Hi there, it's me Brian Su again and today I'm going to be doing a short review on the Nightcore DG Charger D2. So what exactly is this? Well, it's a universal charger for all single cell cylindrical batteries. It uh, supports the common battery sizes here such as 18350, 18650, 16430 also known as RCR 123A batteries and it also does AA, AAA, AAA and C size batteries and I'm sure if you've got a D size battery you could wire it up to the terminals and it will work as well. The other benefit of this charger is it also supports a wide range of common battery chemistries. So over here we can see it supports all the nickel type chemistries such as NIMH and NICAT and it supports lithium ion batteries and life PO4 batteries which stands for lithium ferrous which means iron phosphate batteries and it also supports the newer IMR type batteries which are essentially lithium ion batteries that have a very high discharge rate although the discharge rate of IMR batteries are lower than that of lithium polymer batteries so the two common chemistries that are not supported by this charger as far as I'm aware are the lithium polymer and rechargeable alkaline batteries however those require very specific and specially made chargers do not ever hook up a lithium polymer battery to a charger like this because it is a very 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 bad idea that will cause the battery to swell up and explode so do not do that okay moving on so why do I recommend this well because it's a one for all charger if you use the common battery sizes and common battery chemistries so I used to have three separate chargers this one here is used to charge lithium ion battery cells. This one here is used to charge life PO4 batteries. And this one here is of course used to charge nickel metal hydride batteries. And this here is a dumb charger that cuts off the charging process based on the timer regardless of the actual battery charge. So here you can already see a problem when using chargers like this they will charge all batteries at the same rate for the same duration whereas an intelligent charger like this will charge it up till its uh, capacity is full okay here are some other benefits of the DG charger D2 this one unit will replace all those and possibly more so if you're going traveling you could just pack that in your suitcase the terminal here is the common IEC 60320 C7 female connector that is used all over the world this type of cables are used for audio systems television DVD blu-ray players home and kitchen appliances so Really, you could just pack that unit with you in your suitcase and you, could, you will be able to find a compatible cord in every country. The other input is, of course, the standard 5.5mm, I believe, 12 volt connector, which allows you to charge it from a 12 volt battery or in your vehicle, which I will be using to demonstrate here in a short while. So before I continue, I just want to say that I'm not going to go into much details on battery chemistries and pros and cons of each charging approach and the dangers of overcharging certain types of batteries and this and that. However, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Before I conclude my short review, I also want to point out a few things that makes this charger stand out from the rest. This one has 
a worldwide insurance policy. It is underwritten by a Chinese insurance company that I, to be honest, I have never heard of, but at least it's covered by liability insurance in, just in case your battery does touch wood, explode and catches fire or something like that which I'm sure wouldn't happen because of the way the electronics are designed to um, cut off charging current with safety in mind. Um, what other benefits are they? Um, right, there is also a 4-bay version of this charger called the D4, which is obviously of the same height but just wider. That will allow you to obviously insert up to four cells at a time however do note that the d4 simply splits the charging current across four bays and therefore the total charging time will not be much shorter than if you were to use the d2 there are also cheaper versions of this from nightcore called the i2 and i4 which stands for intellicharger 2 and intellicharger 4 those chargers lack an lcd display and they lack support for live PO for batteries. Oh yes, one other feature of this charger which I missed out was the ability to charge batteries with low current, which can be which I will demonstrate later. That can be accessed via the button, and the purpose of that is to charge lower capacity batteries like AAA batteries with only 300 milliamps of charge current instead of the standard 500 milliamps because that's better for battery life of smaller batteries. Oh yes, I forgot to point out that this charger is universal voltage. It works at 110 and 240 volts as you would have expected and is therefore compatible in almost anywhere in the world. Now that's a painful lesson learned because on my holiday trip to Manhattan, I brought this charger along not realizing that it only runs on 240 volts and I was then stuck with a set of AA and IMH batteries for my camera that ran out in a couple of days which then meant I had to buy primary alkaline AA batteries for my camera for the rest of the trip which was quite a pain. The Intelli chargers cost just 2 quid less than the DG charger models. I bought this D2 for just over 16 quid. The D4 cost about 18 quid. And I don't see why anyone would get the Intelli charger models instead because it doesn't seem to make economic sense. This is a new model, by the way, it's a 2014 model. Okay, so that sums up my short review. If you like, to watch the demonstration and understand more technical details of how this works, continue to stay tuned to this video.